Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Sennett. I'm an American osteopathic physician, and I'd like to talk to you today about the theory of Chapman's reflexes. Chapman's reflexes come from uh, this man, Frank Chapman. Frank Chapman was an early graduate in 1899 from the American School of Osteopathy. He was a student of Dr. Stills. He discovered a system of neurolymphatic points that are deep to the skin and sub subcutaneous tissue. He theorized that these points uh, were secondary to visceral somatic dysfunction. His work was uh, written down by his brother-in-law, Charles Owens. Uh, this is Charles Owens. Uh, when he discovered the Chapman system in around the 1920s, he, interp he uh, wrote a very small book he published called An Endocrine Interpretation of Chapman's Reflexes. Frank Chapman described these points that were subcutaneous, and he described these points that correlated to visceral dysfunction. He called them a gangliform contraction, and that is uh, just a nomenclature that he made up. Uh, they're not actually gangliform. They're not ganglia, which would be nerve cell bodies outside the central nervous system. He mapped out these points uh, anteriorly and posteriorly on the body, and they were meant to correlate to visceral dysfunction. The anterior points he used primarily for diagnostic purposes, and the posterior points were for treatment purposes. I found an interesting correlation in a seminal work by Paul Schilder. Paul Schilder was an Austrian MD uh, psychiatrist, and he wrote in his seminal work, The Image and Appearance of the Human Body in 1935. Interestingly, he was not working with Frank Chapman or anything like that, but he also found that one to two centimeters below the skin, he found an area that he described as most sensitive, and he suspected that it was uh, involved with internal disease. I include Dr. Schilder because I find that it's interesting that someone from the osteopathic world and someone from traditional allopathic world were finding some, uh, s some findings which in a way support each other while working in a non-collaborative correlation. Uh, the pathophysiology of the anterior points that um, Dr. Chapman described over here is a um, short map of some of the points pointing out disease. These points which he described and which uh, Dr. Owens wrote about was much later uh, correlated by Paul Kimberly from Kirksville. In the 1970s, uh, Paul Kimberly described these neurolymphatic points and correlated these with um, visceral sites by the anterior and lateral cutaneous nerves uh, indicated here by these two circles. We can trace the nerve all the way around back to the spinal cord, okay? But here and here, Dr. Kimberly correlated this with the facilitated segment concept, which was proposed by uh, Drs. Kaur and Denslow. Uh, Dr. Denslow being an osteopath, Dr. Kaur being a PhD researcher working with Kirksville. Uh, Dr. Michael Kuchera in the 1990s confirmed that the Chapman's reflexes were primarily correlated with the sympathetic nervous system and with a lymphatic response that was consistent with uh, sympathetic nervous system innervation of organs that might be in dysfunction. If we trace that nerve all the way out back to the posterior, uh, posterior aspects, this builds the map which uh, Dr. Chapman was correlating with the posterior points. So you had an underlying organic disease and it was manifesting anteriorly, laterally, and posteriorly into a map which we will um, see near the end of this lecture. In short, Dr. Chapman's reflexes, if we put it into a greater model, would take the idea of a noxious, meaning uh, some sort of destructive or, or proprioceptive stimuli 
In this case, we have something with a heart coming back to the cord and that stimulus affecting this area between T1 and T5, which Dr. Chapman is relating to the heart and then looking at effects that were viscerosomatic, which is what a Chapman's reflex point would be. Viscerosomatic reflex, something happens in the viscera, we see a reflex or we see a signal in the soma. Uh, so in this case, in this uh, simplified example, we're showing either something happening at the heart or something that we could expand this idea to a trigger point in the soma coming back to the cord and then causing various viscerosomatic types of reflexes. Uh, seeing tissue texture, uh, tissue texture changes, um, possibly the Chapman's point that he is um, showing us on his larger map correlating to the initial visceral disease. Or we can also expand this idea to myofascial uh, points that we could also relate to the tender point model. Uh, I do want to uh, reaffirm this idea that this contracture that he describes as a gangliaform contracture is not a ganglia. It's not a nerve cell body outside the central nervous system. It's something we would more consider to be a fascial, uh, a fascial uh, phenomena, not neural tissue. This is the very popular map that if you Google Chapman's reflexes, undoubtedly you'll come up with this map, which was uh, written in Dr. Owens's book based on the work of Frank Chapman. And that is showing various different diseases correlating with a palpable nodule that can be felt at these various areas. That nodule should be anteriorly and it should have a corresponding point posteriorly. Uh, the treatment, uh, as I stated at the beginning of this lecture, Dr. Chapman said the anterior points he used as diagnostic indicators. The posterior points, uh, there were various different types of treatments that he used uh, to treat the viscerosomatic reflex by a posterior point treatment. Uh, to my knowledge, these Chapman reflexes are palpatory events I'm not sure that they have been verified by other means. I'm not sure how Dr. Kimberly and Dr. Kuchera made these correlations. Um, they're more historical in osteopathic literature. The treatments that were available were either mild to moderate circular pressure until you palpate a change. This is known as the Rex maneuver. It can be applied to anterior or posterior points. And there is a general uh, type of reflex treatment for all the posterior points. I will demonstrate the uh, general Chapman's reflex in an upcoming lecture. Thank you for your attention. And if you like what we're doing, please subscribe and please pass this on to your colleagues. Thank you for your attention.